When the aliens finally land, do they want to know what a rock star is? Michael Hutchins was one. Stuff. I'm petrified of my memory, which is absolutely useless. So I lost six years of my life. I really can't remember a fucking thing. I can hardly remember last week. It's been my biggest problem in life. At school, I'd be fine with anything in front of me, but memory is really bad. We sort of wrote a few letters to each other, Andrew and I, because we were best friends on our left. And I came back, Andrew had a moustache. He was in about the fifth form, the fourth form, he had a beard. And he introduced me to all these bands. Roxy Music, Brian Eno and 801 Live was one of his albums. The band Yes, Ray Charles, Eric Burden and War. Andrew was the singer of a band. He used to have bands and people would come and go and they'd be in garages and I'd sort of sit around being amused by the whole thing. And Andrew was a bit of a rock star actually, he was the lead singer and everything. So Andrew did say, you should be a singer. I went, me? Oh, never. Nah, nah, no, I don't do that, you know? I was in a motorcycle and things like that, a real boy. And he gave me a microphone, I started singing in a garage. I don't know what the hell I was singing, some rubbish. And we started up a band, just pulled it together and off we went. And Johnny came in, such an excellent drummer at about 15, that we couldn't lose him. The problem is that the Farris's parents went to Perth and they wanted to take John along because he was too young to stay around in a rock band in Sydney. So we said, why don't we just go to Perth and rehearse there? The day after I left school, the same day I left home, jumped in a big red truck with Kirk and drove four days to Perth. That was pretty strange. I'd only just met Kirk. The guy was so weird. He had little Tupperware containers with perfectly sliced vegetables in them. In the middle of the desert, he pulled out a wok and started cooking Chinese food around two in the morning. That also involved going to these mining towns in Port Hedland and Goldsworthy. And it was intense and the people were rough and generally intoxicated 24-7. The local cops met us and they said, we've got three rules here. Mind your own business. Don't leave the camp. Don't fuck someone's wife. I got into a bit of trouble with some guys and I had to be put in a box and then transported out like uh, equipment and then put into a boot of a car. <laughs> These guys were so hassled by me, I don't know what I was doing. I remember waking one night to this intense banging and screaming. Some big heavy mining dude was trying to bash Michael's door in because Michael had his girlfriend in there. Someone apparently was chasing him with an axe. You couldn't play in Perth if you played original music. So at night we play anything that the general public would like and by day we rehearse. Then we slowly started slipping these by day songs in and that's mm. where our troubles began. 